Hello friends, hope you're doing great. Today we'll check out real trading examples of how to trade trend channels. This video is all about examples and practical applications. If you want to remember the technical trading video, please check out my previous video. I think you're ready, let's begin. Okay, let's start with a quick recap as usual. If you remember how to trade trend channel formula, please skip this session. Step 1. Confirm trend channel. As you remember, we need a minimum of two touch points at the bottom and top of trend channel support and resistance lines. Step 2. Confirm pullbacks and breakouts. Pullbacks are small opposite trends against the main trend channel, very easy to identify. Step 3. Confirm MACD histogram and momentum. This is an optional step. However, it helps me to identify if the pullback is ending and the momentum starting. Step 4. Confirm entry. Well, as you know, I always enter a trade if I can see a confirmation. Now, let's see the real world trading examples. Okay, I would like to start with the example of QQQ. Because this year I traded QQQ options too many times. I was doubling my gains with each trade because it was so simple and obvious. As you can see, QQQ has had this trend channel for over a year. This one was one of the strongest and amazing trend channels that I've seen a while. Let's analyze it step by step. Confirming trend channel. As you notice, the number of touch points, there are so many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All I needed was a minimum of two touch points at the bottom and the top of the trend support and resistance lines. The next step is finding pullbacks and breakouts. Pullbacks on uptrends are small downtrends that travel from resistance to support. As you may see, we have a really clear and nice pullbacks here. I'll talk about pullback breakouts in step 4 when I confirm entries. Now the next step is an optional MACD histogram. It's an impressive way of seeing if the momentum changes. Can you see how the momentum changes? I love seeing this, that gives me an extra layer of comfort before opening a position. However, MACD histogram loses its power and consistency if you open lower time frames. I only check the MACD histogram with one day or one week time intervals. Finally, the breakout and the entry confirmation. Let's zoom in on the chart a bit. As you can see, we have our breakout candlestick right here. And I need a candlestick that beats the high of the breakout candlestick. Lucky me, the next candle directly beats the high of the previous candlestick. Okay, this is my enter candlestick. How to place a stop loss? If I trade one day and higher time frames, I enjoy taking higher risks. When I took this trade back in October, my mental stop loss was just under this pullback. My mental take profit order is around 2 hours. However, when I trade in higher time frames like one day or one week, I do not wait for stop loss or take profit orders to work because I have too much time to evaluate the trade and I can act much earlier than these orders. Okay, let's watch the trade now. My next example is Ethereum. If you follow my Twitter account, you know that I've been an Ethereum holder for a long time with really nice gains. Now let's check the chart. Again, I'll go step by step. 
Almost nobody else teaches the way I teach trading because step-by-step -step trading is a definite guide to success. Let's confirm this trend channel. One, two, three, four. So our step one is confirmed. Minimum two touch points of support and resistance lines. Our pullback is again obvious in this trend channel. Very easy to detect if you noticed. If I look at the MACD histogram, I can see that there is a momentum change. Now as a mostly price action trader, I do not use indicators that much. However, indicators become reliable when you have higher time frames. It gives you kind of a guidance. But if you go into lower time frames, indicators become less and less reliable. Finally, let's check the entry. My pullback entries are quite effective and easy. The first candlestick that beats high of the breakout candlestick. This one is our pullback breakout candlestick. This one is our entry candlestick. Okay, everything is great so far. Now, no strategy or formula in the world is 100% successful or reliable. And yes, I lose my money, sometimes a lot. However, I usually end my days with a profit or break even. Why? Because I use stop loss orders or I have a mental stop loss numbers in my mind all the time. I stick to my rules. Mm, not every time actually, sometimes still got me too. Anyway. Okay, let's place our stop loss and take profit orders and watch the trade. Now I'm looking at Bitcoin. This time I want to teach you the importance of confirming entries. As you may see, we have had this nice trend channel since 30,000. And we have two pullbacks. Can you see the beauty of the first pullback? Four out of four confirmations. Confirmed trend channel. Confirmed pullback and breakout. Confirmed make the histogram. Confirmed entry. And the result is 40%. With 5x leverage, the profit would have been over 200%. Now, what's wrong with the second pullback? Actually, nothing is wrong. But we are missing step 4, which is confirming entry. This shows us the importance of confirming entries before entering a trade one more time. You just do not enter a trade when price touches the trend channel support or resistance. You always need confirmation. If you have watched my latest Bitcoin analysis video, I have looked at this trade with two different perspectives. As a trader, I do not touch it until I see a pullback breakout and enter a candlestick confirmation. As an investor, I said that anything around 40,000 is my long-term buy and hold strategy with minimal risk. It is important to decide if you are an investor or trader. Finally, let's check Forex. You can use this trend channel trading strategy with every kind of financial security. Stocks, ETFs, cryptocurrencies or Forex, you choose it. Now, 
in this USD AUD chart, you can see the trend. If you look closely, there are many pullbacks and successful breakouts. There is a very clear pullback in the middle. This is our pullback. And this one is an entry candle. I specially picked this example. Even though there is a profit to make here, it is not that much. Because I wanted to show the reality. Not everything you do will become quite successful. Just the opposite. If you can achieve a 50% winning rate, you should consider yourself lucky. However, winning rates are actually useless. You can have a great profit with a 20% winning rate at the end of the day if you use stop loss orders. Cut the losers, very simple. Let your winning trades run as much as they can, but cut the losers as soon as possible. This is the golden key to survive in this trading world. Great, another long video of trading examples. I've tried to cover everything about how to trade trend channels with trading examples from the real world. If you have any questions in your mind, please leave a comment below. I'm glad to answer them one by one. Okay folks, if you could, please subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more free content and improve the channel. Please take care and see you soon.